before coming to Ireland, I had the need to take a vacation, like a longer vacation, because I just noticed yeah. that the, like a one or two week vacation wouldn't cut it. And uh, it was like th- the same situation, fed up with the job and felt like I reached some kind of, I don't know, threshold and was getting yeah, fed yeah. up with it. And uh, it, as you said, it was like my highest salary ever, you know, like I was good at the job. I was happy with what I was doing, but I kind of yeah. just didn't feel it, you know, and then didn't fulfill me. And uh, yeah, I also kind of went, went, as soon as I let go, I felt like I, like I released really? a vent somewhere. Yeah, and yeah. It's, and like, you you know, it's like, like you, did you have that feeling where it's like, you don't even think about looking back? You oh, know, yeah. It doesn't go yeah. for you to think, okay, let's look like look back or I'll second guess that or anything. Mm. It's just like a feeling of pure, I, I can't explain it. It's pure just knowing. You, you mm-hmm. just know. And just, yeah. 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 It feels nice. um, I did go back to have coffee with uh, past colleagues from the company. Ah, yeah, and... I've done that as well. I'm still, I like my, like I said, my assistant who I worked with, this really great guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I used to go, he continued working there uh, after I left. And I would always like, when I go back home to the UK, we used to have like a kebab Friday where uh, on, when we were working sort of, our, our shift would be two in the afternoon till 10 at night or 10 at night till 8 a.m. the next morning. So Fridays were always our takeaway night. And um, on our dinner, we would we would go to the, the kebab shop. So whenever I go back to the UK, he's not working there now anymore. I, I would go into the into the old work and he would pick me up and we would eat a kebab. But I can say, man, like even after being away for three years and doing all of the stuff I did, as soon as I walked down that corridor back towards my work, my old workshop, it was like I was there two days ago. It was mm-hmm. the smells, the feeling, the noises. Mm-hmm. Like all of that didn't happen. Like it was just a dream, you know? And I feel like if I was to go back to that job tomorrow, it would feel the same. It would feel yeah. like I just took a vacation and, and came back. Not that it's been five years, you know? I had this OCD where every time I walked down this one corridor, I had to like tap this locker as I walked past it twice and you know even that when I was walking down I just did yeah, that yeah. like it was like <laughs> didn't even think about it it just happened and I was like yeah yeah it's been three years and this is nothing's changed you know it's so. amazing how uh, the body remembers things and how, how things yeah, yeah. stuck in your subconscious yeah, crazy, it's really right? crazy mm. I couldn't imagine I you know a lot of people always ask me like could you imagine going back to that job and doing <laughs> doing that job again and I I'd like to think that I really couldn't go back to it, but some part of me did really enjoy that job. Um, like, not going to lie, I'm not going to go back there ever. But if I had to, like worst case scenario, then yeah, why not? I would probably go go back back mm. there or think, at least think about it. It's um, yeah. So it's it's weird, you know. I have still I have a lot of respect for my time there, and but that's that's the old me, even mm. yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip. 